Hi guys, in this video we'll be exporting our animation back into our video editor with the best possible quality and then exporting that video out so it's ready for YouTube. I'll go into tricks that I've learned to keep things organized while animating and some other animation principles themselves in a later video, but with these three videos I'm releasing this weekend, I thought it would be nice to do everything that I do with my video editor for setting up and exporting videos. Okay, so you're happy with your flash animation and now you want the world to see it on YouTube. Go to File, Export, Export Movie, select PNG Sequence, make sure that you're placing this in a folder that's empty and well named in your project folder, then click Save. Make sure the resolution is the same as our document, 1280 by 720 and 72 dpi, full document size. 24-bit and do not select 24-bit with alpha unless you want to create layers within your video editor. I uncheck the interlace and dither solid colors and check the smooth box. Then click OK. Now why are we using a PNG file sequence? Well, when I originally started making my own cartoons, I was rendering QuickTime files. They were looking great, but for some reason they were never the same length as the audio files in my video editor. This is because QuickTime records at a variable frame rate and ends up being 23.97 something or other frames per second instead of 24 frames per second. Rendering each frame out separately will avoid this problem and I choose PNG over JPEGs for size and quality. After Flash has exported your movie, you go into the video editor, open your Leica, but save it as a new file so that you have the same information, but you still have the untouched Leica if you need it. Now go to File, Import, Media, and locate the folder where you rendered out the PNG file sequence. You'll see a ton of images in here. Select the very first image, and at the bottom of this import window, you'll see an option that says Open Still Image Sequence. Check that option and then click open. A new dialog box will open. You shouldn't need to touch any of these settings. Make sure the frame rate is 24 and there is no field order and square pixels. Click OK and your editor will place the image sequence in your media bins as if it was a video file. Now here's the magic. Create a new video track on top of the one your drawings are on. Place the flash video file on top of the scene we exported before. It will fit exactly in place and you'll have your finished video file there with the original sound still there from the Leica. When you import your new video onto the timeline in Sony Vegas, you'll need to turn off resampling. This will prevent the final video from looking like it has two frames blended together into one. Unfortunately, you can't automate this from each file but you can select multiple files and turn off the resampling all at once. Right click your video and click Switches, Disable Resample, and that's all there is to it. After you've repeated this process, if you have more than one scene file, you can either delete or turn off the drawing layer, but they shouldn't show up in the final renders anyways. Now for Windows users, to export this video for YouTube or just as a final video, Drag your loop region over the entire project and then go to File, Render As, and select Windows Media Video 11, then Custom, and the following are my settings for great looking videos. Include Audio, CRB Mode, Windows Media Audio 9.2, and 92 kilobits per second. And under the Video tab, Mode CBR, Format Windows Media 9 Image, Size is 1280 by 720, Aspect Ratio is 1. The frames are 24 frames per second, and I put the keyframes on 5 seconds, although I don't think that the keyframes will make a big difference in this animation. And under Video Smoothness, I have 90. I haven't played around a ton with these settings, but I don't have a big problem with my gradients or quality. The bitrate should be set to Interlan, and the other tabs for labeling are just inside the file, which I don't fill out. After that, I click on Save, and Vegas will now render out your animation with the highest possible quality. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please thumbs up and favorite. 
and I'm working on a lot of new content that I hope you'll enjoy. So subscribe and stay tuned.